Theory! This is a good poem, Bacon. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room? Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll, I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Bacon. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you t trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> okay. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No! D just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? Sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Isn't she, though? Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Alright, she's last, so... Hi, Baycoon. Having a good time so far? Ah, uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Baycoon. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like it, Bacon. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Ha ha ha. Aw, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. By any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Well, that's a random reference. Eh, maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. 
but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Well, it's kind of where, why I'm here. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Mm. Never has looking into a hole been more exciting. So what do you think? Hmm, it's very free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in, fr furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess I could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How could that be cute? I know that. I just meant th the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? Huh? You, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Bacon did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Oh boy. Mm. And Bacon liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? Uh, that's not what I... Uh... You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Bacon appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... 
No! If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ah! Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Bacon started showing up. Whoa! Yuri, is that true? Natatsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This, this doesn't, doesn't involve, involve you. you! I don't like fighting, guys! Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they noticed I was just standing there. Bacon, she she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Bacon. Wait! There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to con convey complex feelings and meaning the most fe effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Pikun? Um... Well... Uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course it's going to be... Uh, gonna side with Natsuki, because I'm, you know, I'm going for her, yeah. Um, Yuri, you're really talented. Eh, well, but Natsuki has a point. I think that I rack my brain and attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feelings with few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over. And Natsuki's poem really did a really good job at that. Yeah! It did, didn't it? Ah! Uh -huh. Shows how much you know. That that's not... Natsuki. I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But she was so mean to me. Natsuki's voice whines. Look, what we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing. And sharing it can definitely be hard. It looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. I glance over my shoulder. Sayori is nodding vis vigorously. Yeah, so... You don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Ah. Uh, Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. Thanks for noticing. She finally mutters that, barely audible. Yuri... Yuri looks at me dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean everything she said, so you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey! It's not like you need to apologize for me, Bakun. Sheesh! Natsuki takes a breath. I... The thing about... Uh... Natsuki glances around the room. Would everyone stop staring at me? Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with it than she boasted. Sayori and Monica look away. Hmm. Anyway, the thing about your, about your boobs, I didn't mean it, okay? That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Sayori! I'll go make some tea. Huh? I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the salt shoulder. Well, now that we're past that... Everyone's re everyone's read each other's poems, right? I hope that it was worthwhile for everyone. Especially you, Bacon. And to be honest, it's a nice change of pace from the lazing around we got a little too used to. Ha <laughs> Uh, so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. No, not at all, not at all. There's still time before we go home. So we'll all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we do literature-related things in the club room. So maybe you can take the chance to pick up a book or do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica. Eh? About what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun! <laughs> of course. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayori. <laughs> in the end, though, Monica's right. Being in the literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But in the end, I guess it's been worth it so far. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. 
How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Bacon, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Bacon, Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Whew. You know, Bacon, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Uh, looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone else, everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, um, that's gonna be another episode. That was a little bit long, but, um, yeah. Things seem to be getting heated, but, um, we'll see how far it gets next episode. See you then.